Young Adults started in 2021 by Pastor Taylor. Uh, I think they started with like 10 to 15 young adults, met at the Fellowship Hall, and they transitioned into Pastor Taylor's house for a little bit until it, the Lord really growed it to the point where 20, 25 people were meeting on a weekly basis. So they transitioned back to the sanctuary, they go back tables, and then before he left, that's when I took over, and uh, the Lord's again has just been great. Honestly, to be honest with you, once the Lord sent me to young adults, I felt like they were already in a season of harvest, if that makes sense, you know? I didn't really do anything special, just preach the word, love on the people, and it was really, to be honest with you, but despite our faithful servant leaders. My goodness, uh, young adults wouldn't be where it is today because without our servant leaders who's just been faithful. In the past few years, we've seen 18 young adults get saved. Uh, we've seen 37 got baptism, including the 10 ones we saw last week in our anniversary. Uh, and we've just seen countless of life changes in a lot of ways, a lot of restoration, a lot of inspiration to make gospel impacts, and a lot of assimilation just through our church as a whole. We've really seen young adults find real community and from that uh, compelled them to invite their lost friends. Our vision is to, to shine the light of Christ in our generation and the generations to come. So really we do that by raising an army of young adults who really wants to make gospel kingdom impact now and in the years to come. Me and Tuesday night to do Bible studies. Right now we're going through the book of Numbers and we're calling it Not Deserted. And it's just the idea that though we might be in some sort of wilderness or desert, we are not deserted in Jesus. My favorite story so far in young adults, this is one guy and his first time coming back to church was actually through a Tuesday night. And then through Tuesday night, as he gets plugged, got plugged into in our church, he got saved, he got saved. So I had lunch with him and I just was ch just to check in how he's doing. And for the first time, he shared to me his sin struggles. For the first time, he shared to me uh, how he's right, really fighting temptation. But he wasn't really cast down. It's almost like he was happy. And I'll never forget his words to me. Uh, he, told, he said to me, Pastor John, for the first time in my life, I know what temptation feels like. Like, I know what it's like now to fight sin. Before, before becoming a Christian, you just did whatever you wanted to do. You just did whatever you wanted to do. And finally, you now he's fighting. He's fighting sin. He's fighting the good fight. Like, this is it. You know, uh, I got this. Dane Ortland once said, fighting is winning. And this is it. This is why, through young adults, what we want to raise up. We want to raise up the next generation who seek his face. We want to raise up the next generation who's fighting the good fight, knowing that in Jesus, all, everything has already been won. If you're a young adult, here are a couple ways you can get involved. One, join us on a Tuesday night. And through that, we can explore. You can help us with our hospitality team, connect team, there's tech, there's worship. Everything involved about running a Tuesday night is there. Uh, we're actually even starting this uh, thing called spiritual touch points where we want to create an effort and structure to better shepherd our young adults so that no young adult get left, gets left behind as much as we can. Number two, help us with our events. We have retreats. We have outreach events, we have conferences, local mission trips, anything around our events and any uh, initiatives, creative ways to reach young adults in our city, I want, I, I want your help in that. If you are not a young adult, here are a few things you might want to help. One, if you want to sponsor someone to go to our retreats or to go to a mission trip, that's one way. Number two, if you have a passion for young adults, especially in discipleship, if you want to mentor someone, mentor a young adult, especially any of our servant leaders. That would be amazing. And last but not least, uh, you can just start being involved by praying. Like praying, praying for us, praying for this next generation. When I just want to thank you because whether directly or indirectly, you have been a huge part of how God used and grown our, our ministry, really. So I just want to say thank you. Be excited, be excited because the Lord really Lord, Lord's really raising up a group of people who are sensitive to His Spirit, who want something real, and is hungry for the presence of God more than ever.